What is love? Yeah, what is love? For many people... Oh, I'll find my controller. Where the fuck are gone? For many people, love is... Dizzy. Dizzy, uh, Spectrum character by the Oliver Twins, by who uh, made this for Codemasters. This is their first time they found love with a computer game. Cave Kempston. This is uh, Dizzy. The little off, the little egg, he's around. And like I say, this is the first ever Dizzy game. You can pick up, you can pick up an object. And uh, you go along. This is Dizzy first down. Like I say, what is love? Because, you know, it's a funny old thing, isn't it? Oh, I shouldn't have gone down here, I don't think. I thought I might have did. Let me just swim more, what me, me thinks. Quite an unforgiving game, actually. Yeah, like I say, a lot of people, they, they uh... This was a game of... Oh, fuck off. This is probably the first... For many people, this is the first character they sort of fell in love with, I think, on, spectrum, on the like, Spectrum and whatnot. I'm getting pissed off because I can't... Oh, fucking dizzy. He's a little... People might love this little guy, but he's a pain in the ass to freaking control. Drop, Apple, drop! Right. Oh, and a burning torch. It's an arcade puzzle game. Featuring the world's most loved and at the same time most bloody hated egg. It's revered by many, hated by some. Uh, it's quite an eerie little game. It's the village of uh, Sigam. You can hold a grease gun. It's a little life. I think that's an extra life there, is it? The next life? Yeah, extra life. So I use a grease gun on that. And I can get through the mine shaft if I want to. So yeah, a lot of you love this little character. I, re I reviewed uh, Fantasy World, is it? I'm trying not to swear on this review. Because I'm in a little different mood than normal. Because I've not been to the pub. I've had a few drinks, guaranteed, yes. Boing. Oh, missed that. Oh, I need a raincoat to get past that. Makes you bounce. Yeah, I've had a few drinks, but I'm not in the, uh... Whoa, easy, tiger. Oh, you bastard. I'm not in a pissed off mood or anything. I'm in quite a happy mood. Because... It's a funny old thing that love. And, you know... A lot, like I said, a lot of people love this little character. And I don't know why, but they do. I don't know what the quest is. I'm sure it's something noble. But you know, it's weird to feel some sort of emotion t towards a little character or, or a person. And it's a nice feeling, isn't it, to be fair? It's sort of... I just go down it. Oh, let's get a key there. I mean, Dizzy, there's lots of Dizzy games. Some people hate them, some people love them. And I'm sort of halfway in between the two. I don't think the first Dizzy game is the best. They introduced you to a little character, a little critter. And it became a very, very successful franchise. Is he going to eat me or not? No. You bastard. He ain't the easiest bastard to see. Shit. Yeah, he piss he's sound I love the little guy, but he's pissing me off now. I've got to get on that red blob. No. Remind me again why people love this little bastard.
Anyway, this is Dizzy. It's the first of his about 20 games, or something stupid number of games. And it's not the best of the bunch, but it set the scene very nicely for the rest of the games. It's frustrating as hell at times. Have I completed this game? No, I fucking haven't. Will I ever complete this game? No, I won't. That fucking apple's pissing me off. Pretty bastard. Fuck off, that's it, go. No, you got to get... No, you got to get... Oh, you got to get in the right blob. Oh, for fuck This is Dizzy One. Now, a lot of people love this game. You know, it's nice to love something. It's nice to be compassionate about something. But this is not the greatest game of all time. It's a good game, but it ain't the best of the series. So, I award Dizzy One... A seven. It might look, seem a little bit strict, but you know, this was the foundation for a very successful franchise. You're the twins developed it. Code Masters and Big Red Software took it further, I think, and it did quite well for itself. Rumours are this is going to make a comeback. You're the twins are beaving away in a little dungeon, and a lot of people will be pleased by that fact. Dizzy is surely the ideal candidate for a mobile game. Why wasn't it a Dizzy adventure on mobile? Because mobile games are pain in the ass anyway, but you think you know, Dizzy would be the ideal one for it. So, I'll award a little Dizzy here. Yeah, 7 out of 10. There are better, a lot better adventure games than this, but it ain't bad to set this. You know, you play this one first, you play Treasure Island Dizzy, which many people think is the best of the bunch. That is well Dizzy, which my just sneaks into my personal favourite part possibly because I've actually completed the bastard which is a rarity Magic Land Dizzy which is even bigger and you got Spellbound Dizzy which is massive you got Prince of Yoke Folk you got Quick Snacks Fast Food is it Pank Dizzy or Block Dizzy or something or whatever all these fucking Dizzy games and this is the first bunch so 7 out of 10 and there you go it's nice to be in love in it you know if you love your little, that little egg you do that personally I I'm more into my women than the eggs, but you know, whatever takes your fancy, whatever tickle your fancy.